here at the Castle Hill Houses helping a new mom get answers from the city. She wants an extermination. She also wants repairs. You know we're making it happen. Okay, really Antoinette Riley from the Bronx says at 2 a.m. one morning she had enough and took this video on her cell phone and sent it to Pix11 on Facebook. I can't go to sleep. Riley says Pix11 is her last hope. Nobody wants to help me. She just don't want to help. I don't know what to help. I don't know what to do anymore. I can't. I need help. Please. We visited Riley Thursday at the Castle Hill Houses in the Bronx. There she is. Riley is a mother of four, and she is especially worried about her 10 week old daughter, Taisha. Why were you crying? Because I have to stay up in the middle of the night. I have to stay up all night and watch to make sure there's no roaches crawling all over my baby. They're all over the beds, they're all over the floor, they're all over the walls, they're everywhere. Like, it's, it's a nightmare. We checked her apartment and as soon as we walked in, Oh, it was right by the baby. We saw the roaches. Riley says they creep in from little holes in her kitchen ceiling and walls. Listen to how she has to cook for her family. They come out of the, the knobs of the, um, the stove. If I open my oven, they'll fall into the oven. So it's like I have to keep my food covered. Her hallway wall and bathroom also have problems too. While we were there, NYCHA came to the door to visit. Riley says that's not unusual. They come, they look, they take maybe sometimes take a picture or two, and they say, we'll be back. Riley tells us she was approved for a transfer in April. She's still waiting. According to NYCHA, the vacancy rate in NYCHA is less than 1%. That translates into just 187 vacant apartments across the city in NYCHA right now. NYCHA tells us exterminators last treated the apartment on April 2nd, and a new extermination request was created Thursday. Also, Riley is on a waiting list at a new development. You know we'll be going back to check on Antoinette and her baby. And if you have a story, reach out to us on Facebook or Instagram. You know how to reach out to us. We could be in your neighborhood now.